This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. I have no idea how many times I have talked about Republicans and conservatives and Trump supporters being projection artists. The the things that they accuse me and you, if you're a liberal or a Democrat, of are the very things they're guilty of. Virtue signaling being chief among them, I believe. Because they are experts at signaling virtues to their to their electorate to each other when they really don't care about those things uh, the flag is super important and to be respected unless it's Donald Trump humping it on the stage at CPAC um, law enforcement is to be respected unless of course in the case of what just took place yesterday uh, you want to honor the men and women of law enforcement who protected the Capitol and the very people who work in the Capitol from the insurrectionists on January 1st, January 6th. Because the Blue Lives Matter was never about Blue Lives Mattering. It was about Black Lives Not Mattering. They're signaling to the mob that that's what's important. The agenda is important. Owning the libs is what's important. Not actually respecting law enforcement. Yesterday, 21 members of the House of Representatives, all of them Republicans, all of them Trump dum-dums, voted against honoring the, the first responders who showed up on the scene during the insurrection, honoring them with medals. I'm going to read very briefly from this Washington Post article entitled, 21 House Republicans Vote Against Awarding Congressional Gold Medal to All Police Officers Who Responded on January 6th. It is disgraceful. They are leaning in to being hypocrites disgusting, rudderless hypocrites. The only guiding principle of these monsters is whatever tickles Donald Trump's butthole. Whatever, whatever makes him happiest is what they will do. Reading from this article, 21 House Republicans on Tuesday voted against awarding the Congressional Gold Medal to all police officers who responded to the January 6th violent attack on the Capitol by a pro-Trump mob. And that right there explains why they vote against uh, their previous admonitions to worship first responders. Every cop is a hero. If you don the uniform, you're automatically a hero. They have single-handedly lowered the bar in our country for what a hero is. Everybody's a hero, especially first responders, unless it's first responders who are beating back a violent insurrection at the United States Capitol at the hands of Donald Trump's chosen. The measure, <clears throat> the measure passed the House with overwhelming bipartisan support from 406 lawmakers, but the 21 Republicans who voted no drew immediate condemnation from some of their colleagues, and the vote underscored the lingering tensions in Congress amid efforts by some GOP lawmakers to whitewash the events of the day. And that is what they're doing. We've heard from uh, from clowns like Andrew Clyde that it was just like a normal tourist day, y'all. Just just tourists taking pictures when five people died. This is an, a disgusting abdication of their duty, of, of the very role, the very job to which they were elected. It's a quote from Liz Cheney, 
of all people. On January 6th, as the violent mob advanced on the House chamber, I was standing near Rep. Gosar, a ding-dong from Arizona, and helped him open his gas mask, Cheney said in a tweet. The Capitol Police led us to safety. It is disgusting and despicable to see Gosar lie about that day and smear the men and women who defended us. That's what's happening here. I'm going to list these names. I'm going to name every single clown show, every reprehensible representative who was themselves democratically elected, who is now, who are now turning their backs on democracy, turning their backs on the American people, turning their backs on the American people to side with Donald Trump. Andy Biggs from Arizona. Furthermore, if you are in one of these clowns districts, I would admonish you. I would encourage you. I would urge you to campaign against them, to donate money to their opponents, to get active in politics locally there where you are, to oust every single one of these anti-American, anti-democratic idiots. Thomas Massey of Kentucky, Andy Harris from Maryland, Lance Gooden from Texas, our boy, credibly accused child rapist, Matt Gates of Florida, of course, Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia, Louis Gohmert, the dumbest member of any House of Congress, Michael Cloud of Texas, Andrew Clyde, the aforementioned Andrew Clyde of Georgia, who said it was just like a tourist event. Remember these pictures? Might I remind you of these photos from the day of the insurrection? Him attempting to barricade the doors of the House chamber from the tourists. Or this photo, mouth agape while the Capitol Police officer has his gun drawn because of the violence. He voted to not award a medal to the very officer that is there to save his life. This is not about uh, protection of the Capitol building, per se. These people's lives were saved by the very people they're now disrespecting. We see the photos. We witnessed the event on January 6th. Greg Stube from Florida, Trump lackey. Bob Good from Virginia. John Rose from Tennessee. And of course, Lauren Boebert of Colorado. Barry Moore of Alabama. Ralph Norman of South Carolina. Matthew Rosendale of Montana. <laughs> that guy's a, a walking embodiment of genius. Chip Roy of Texas. Paul Gosar, white nationalist, racist clown of Arizona. Warren Davidson of Ohio. Scott Perry of Pennsylvania. Jody Heiss, seen here. Loving on law enforcement. Gotta respect the first responders. Blue lives matter, y'all. Except when it counts. Except when it's not just virtue signaling, to borrow their term again. And of course, Mary Miller from Illinois, who visited Donald Trump in the Oval Office with a Trump purse. Because again... They treat Donald Trump like, like, a, like a NASCAR team, flying his flag. It is disgusting. Look, do we need to reform police departments all across the country? Yeah. There's nuance to all of these issues. But the men and women who defended the Capitol and the inhabitants of the Capitol do deserve recognition. 
They beat back an insurrection, an attempted coup, an attempted overthrow of the United States government, an attempted um, installation of Donald Trump who had lost a free and fair election just a couple of months before. This is... This is scary stuff that they could conjure 21 votes against something so simple. These are the same clowns who whine about kneeling for the national anthem because it disrespects the flag, who wave their racist Blue Lives Matter flags because first responders are heroes. And then that the very first chance they get, they turn their backs on law enforcement to turn their faces to Donald Trump, to signal to him, we're with you. Jokes. Every last one of them. I'd love to know what you think, though. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can always email me daily at dollamore.com. I would appreciate your sounding off about this. It is time to get active. It is time to protect our democracy. It is time to stand in the gap for it. Uh, Follow me on social media. I'd love to connect with you there. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, when they're not taking my videos down for community guideline strikes. I even bleep the F word. (laughs) What? Anyway, uh, if you... Receive, if I provide value, not if you receive, but if I provide value to you in any form and you're in a financial position to do so, I would appreciate it if you would consider becoming a channel member here, helping produce my work on the platform for as little as $2 a month. You can click the join button, see what's involved and become a channel member. I would appreciate it very much. I love you all. I appreciate your, your, your engagement with my content commenting and liking and sharing the videos helps a tremendous amount. Tell a friend about my dumb channel, someone who might uh, enjoy or also receive value from it. Anyway, I'll see you next time. I love you all. Until I do see you, be genuine. Take care of one another.